What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and today, y'all, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please understand that this will not apply to every single Virgo, as every single Virgo is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Virgo energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with my Light Stairs Tarot deck. Okay, for more information, for a more personal reading, all of my information will be in the description box below. And without further ado, Virgo, I am talking to you. So I feel like right now, Virgos, you all are in your power. Um, I feel like might be in a mood of trying to figure out what you may need to cut off and what you may need not to. But I feel like you're in your power. It's just like, you know, people can come to you. You just you just have like a cool sense about you. I feel like and I feel like you're just thinking right now, like you're in your zone. You thinking you trying to you trying to I feel like you trying to figure some shit out. And I feel like it might have to do with a creative endeavor, maybe something new, a new idea, maybe a new job, maybe a new project. But I feel like you're looking towards doing something new or trying something new. Um, but I feel like whatever it is, it's a little creative. It might be a little creative. It might even be a relationship of some sort. But yeah, I feel like there's some something new and you want to and you want teamwork. I feel like maybe with somebody, I feel like you might be on a pro a project with multiple people um or a project with a couple people it's like I feel like you got an idea and then you said, "Hey, I'm going to grab me and two or three of my friends and we're going to come together and we're going to do this." It's a team effort. And I feel like maybe it would be like if you thought to start a business and you have three or four friends that you know would be on board, it's like, hey, let's all of us come together and do this. That's kind of the idea that I'm getting from this. Um, yeah, but I feel like you're very much in hermit mode. I feel like you're very much trying to, like I said, doing some really, really deep thinking, especially with this Queen of Swords card here, because the Swords card is the card of thought, the thought process. And so with this hermit card, Virgos are really, really good for being hermits. Uh, this might even be the hermit card. It might be the card of Virgo. I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not going to say it is. But I know um, with this hermit card, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you're doing some deep introspection. You're probably, you know, spending a little bit of time by yourself, spending a lot of your time alone. Um and possibly feeling stuck. I don't know why you're feeling stuck though. I feel like you're feeling stuck maybe because the project has not got off the ground. Maybe whatever it is hasn't taken off or hasn't gotten off the ground. It's kind of like it's in the making, but I feel like you feel stuck about something. It's something that you're worried about or something that you, you're you not really trying to see or you can't see. I feel like it's it's like it's a it's like we're trying to start this, but it's all these different things in the way of me starting it. So let's say you want to build a house, right? Well, you can't find the tools that you need to make the house. But then you find the tools, and then once you get the tools, it's like, well, you lost this, so you can't really finish this. Or if you needed somebody to come and give a permit for the house, whoever was supposed to come couldn't come. It's like it's all these different things that's kind of stopping you from doing whatever it is that you want to do. It's kind of what I'm picking up. And like I said, this is for uh, some of you. This might not be for all Virgos, but for the collective, I just feel like there. it's like a project that you want to do, but I feel like you feel stuck because there's a lot of... Um, inconveniences that's what that's what i'm looking for a lot of inconveniences and just a lot of things just kind of keeping you from doing whatever it is that you're trying to do 
And then, yeah, there's a hard, you're having a hard time moving forward, I feel like, maybe because you feel like, Mo, well, this may not work. I feel like you all are in your heads a lot because I'm a Virgo moon. So I definitely, and then on top of that, I'm an Aquarius. So being in my mind is definitely something that I know that I do very, very well. I literally live there and majority of days I live in the future. So if I know how that feels as an Aquarius and a Virgo moon, and I'm a Virgo moon emotionally, I definitely understand what it is that you all are going through, but I feel like whatever it is, you're having a hard time getting to it. And I feel like you know what it is that you wanna do. You have high intuition. Like I said, you have a new idea and I feel like there is something very much creative that you wanna do. It might be a team effort, but I feel like um, to you, it might feel distant like it's not close enough to, to to grasp but you know it can be accomplished and see I feel like maybe it's the group that you want is something is making you unhappy I feel like something is is making your light dim maybe something or someone but I feel like maybe it's like all these fucking obstacles are I feel like there's a bunch of obstacles in your way and you're slowly but surely losing something. And I feel like you, you, you've you probably gone through this before, just in a different situation, but I feel like you're losing yourself or may, you're, you're either losing yourself, you're losing some money or you're losing something of value. Slowly but surely you're losing something. And I feel like that's kind of what's keeping you in this hermit mode. That's what's kind of keeping your light dim. That's what's making you feel stuck. And you're also in this like overbearing energy, like it's overbearing, it's just too much, it's aggravating, it's frustrating, it's just, ugh. that's how I feel you all feel. And I feel your pain if that's what you're feeling. Whatever it is you're feeling, I feel it too. I keep seeing this family card. I feel like family has to do a lot because when I was shuffling just now, like two shuffles ago, I seen the Ten of Cups and that was a card that flipped out in the beginning was the Ten of Cups it, or I seen it at the bottom. That's the Ten of Cups wanted to come out. So family, you all are very close to family. Virgos, you all are very close to family. Even if you're not in your family, you're very close to a, a family scenario. And I, I always, for whatever reason, I feel like you all are very, very, very family oriented. Very family oriented. And I feel like I get some something with families. Family got a lot to do with whatever is going on. All right. You all are very close to your mothers. Um, I feel like your mother may have a lot of stability. Your mother may have, I feel like mother, and usually there's no gender in tarot. So, but I know a lot of most Virgos are close to their mothers. If they're not close to their mothers, they're close to their grandmothers and whoever it is comes with a stable energy, might be stable financially, might be stable mentally, but this is definitely a nurturer. And as I said, most Virgos, whether men and or women, they tend to be very, very close to their mothers. They tend to be very close to a nurturing energy. And you know, Virgos are the sign of the virgin. So they have a very deep, and this is more or less for the men. Men have a very deep understanding of how women are. They just energetically, just biologically, genetically, if I didn't say that one first, biologically, genetically, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. But yes, I feel like you all are very, very close to your mothers and you might need to get some insight. Maybe you want to work with your mother or maybe you want to work close to your mother, but I feel like you're you're probably not or you don't feel like you have an option on something. And I feel like you just don't, you don't have the will or the drive and you don't really want an option or you don't feel like you have an option or you just don't want to pick the options that you have when it comes to something, but there's no willpower here. And there's no, there's just, mm -mm, it's not no nothing, but talk to this nurturing energy. 
talk to this nurturing energy because I guarantee you this nurturing energy is going to give you whatever information you need, is going to communicate or give you whatever loving energy that you need. And once you dis once you talk to this feminine energy, then I feel like you'll feel better. Okay, so talk to that, talk to that feminine energy. And until then, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And um, bye, Virgo.